In this video, I'm going to show you five of my favorite stretches to relieve shoulder pain. So in this video, I'm going to go through those five stretches, the proper technique, tell you where you should be feeling it. And at the end of this video, you'll have some solid knowledge on poses that you can use to help with immediately relieving shoulder pain. Be aware that not all shoulder pain is the same. So some poses might actually hurt you, whereas some are going to help. So listen to your body. If it hurts, don't do it. If it feels good or it's slightly uncomfortable, that's a good sign that you can do those stretches. All right, here we go. First stretch we're going to do is a yoga stretch with your strap behind your back. Now, if you don't have a strap, don't complain, don't freak out. You're going to go find something that resembles a strap. That could be a dog leash, that could be a belt, it could be a t-shirt, it could be a little piece of cloth or even a deadlifting strap. So find a little strap and then put that strap behind your back. You're gonna turn your palms so they're facing your body, your elbows doing your best to point your elbows backwards and then Peel open your chest, squeeze your shoulder blades together. So this is a stretch, but it's also a strengthener for your upper back, so the muscles around your shoulder blades. And then from here, you're gonna extend your arms down and back. So extend your arms, straighten your arms, and then squeeze your arms away from your back. And the goal here is getting the upper back muscles to activate. So you're feeling strengthening in your upper back while also stretching the muscles in your chest. If you're less flexible, you're gonna hold the strap or whatever you have between your hands further apart. And if you're more flexible, you can get that strap closer together or get your grip closer together on that strap. Whatever depth you choose here, make sure that the intensity of this is less than a seven. So you should be able to talk normally as you're doing this stretch. It should feel good, it should feel moderate intensity, but it shouldn't feel like a nine out of 10. So make sure it's somewhat relaxed. And as you're doing this, you're gonna feel the muscles in the upper back working. So those muscles between the shoulder blades are working, your arms are going to be working, and the muscles in the front of your torso, your chest, should be opening up. It helps to have a little bit of a back bend here. So not a big dramatic back bend, but just getting your chest to kind of look up at the ceiling, maybe leaning back a little bit as you squeeze the arms away from you. Now we wanna check in with the breathing. Breathe in and out of your nose as you're doing this and keep that breathing controlled. As we hold this, you might start to notice some, some tingling, some tightness through your arms, through your body. That's okay, that'll go away when we're finished. You've gotta be the judge of this too. So if you feel like this is too uncomfortable, then back off a little bit or take a little break. If you feel like you can breathe through it and hold it a little bit longer, then that's good too. All right, so there's stretch number one, just strap behind the back. That's really good for opening up the chest. If you spend a lot of time hunched over, if you spend a lot of time on a desk or on your computer, on your phone, or just sitting on the couch, that's a really good one. Second stretch we're gonna do is called an eagle stretch, and this is going to do the opposite of what we just did. So instead of opening up the chest, we're gonna be opening up the upper back. Now I like doing this stretch with a strap. It's really good for guys because most men can't do the full eagle variation. It's really hard. So what you're going to do here is you're going to wind your right arm under your left arm. See, so right arm comes under the left arm. And then you're going to bring the strap together so you can hold the strap like this. And then from here, you're going to bring your arms away from you and up and then open your chest. So don't fall forward like this. I want you to kind of lift the chest up, get big through your upper back, and stay upright. So your goal here is to separate your shoulder blades, or spread your shoulder blades, bring your elbows forward and your forearms up, and then breathe in and out of the nose. Cool thing about this stretch, using a strap, we're able to make this a lot more accessible to men. Most guys are really tight through their shoulders, and most yoga classes are focused on women. So this is going to be a nice way for you to get the benefits of an eagle stretch without uh, having to be incredibly flexible. So as you're here, breathing in and out of your nose, and it also helps to press your arms into one another. So push your forearm and your elbow into one another. That's gonna help with the stretch. And you can also kind of start to wrap your arms. So wrapping your arms like you're trying to get your, your right arm to get in front of the left arm. Probably not gonna happen, but 
that's the overall focus here. So getting that stretch to the upper back, wrapping the arms, and bringing the elbows up and away from your body. Let's go ahead and switch sides, and I'll show you some other variations of this too. So we showed with the strap, so if you want to do that again, left arm, I'm going to go under the right arm, hold the strap together, bring your arms up and away from you. If you don't want to do that, or if that's too hard, you can also grab opposing shoulder blades. So your right arm is going to come over the left arm, and then you're going to kind of grab your shoulders and press your elbows together, spread the shoulder blades, lift your elbows up. So this is another way to do this. So lots of different variations here. If you want to try it without a strap, you can also go left under the right and then maybe get your hands together somehow. And now lift your elbows up, press your arms away from you. I actually have a full video on this with all of the different variations of eagle pose. I'll put that in the link in the description below. Check that out when the video is finished and you can go through eagle pose in a little more depth. But if you're kind of getting it, if you get the wrap and then the elbows up and away from your body, spreading your shoulder blades to get that stretch in your upper back, that's what our goal is here. And then with all these stretches, I would go at least 60 seconds and upwards of 75, 90 seconds. All right, go ahead and release. Hey guys, hope you're enjoying this video. If you're looking for a basic yoga program for men, I've got a free seven day beginners yoga for men challenge. Link below in the description. Click on that and sign up. No credit card required when the video is finished. Here we're gonna go into our next stretch. And I'm gonna have you grab a block for this one. So if you don't have the block, you can also hold a strap. It's gonna make it pretty much the same. So with the block, you're gonna bring your arms overhead and be aware if you have shoulder pain, this might actually hurt you. So don't do it if it hurts. If it doesn't hurt, you can try it. So bring your arms overhead, hold that block. And the reason why we have the block is because if you were to just lift your arms up passively, there's a greater chance that you'll have pain in the shoulders. If you do it with a little bit of purpose and you have that block between the hands, that's gonna help you use more muscles. And that's just gonna feel usually going to be a uh, lower risk of, of pain in the shoulders when you're more active through the, muscle, through the muscles. So holding that block, you're gonna squeeze the arms back, straighten your arms as much as you can without pain, and then squeeze the arms back. So what we're doing here is kind of similar to that first stretch we did. You're engaging the muscles in your upper back. So you might feel those muscles between the shoulder blades starting to work. You might feel your upper back muscles in general just working a little bit more. You don't have to lean back too far with this. The big focus is on the shoulders and the upper back, not so much on whether your spine is uh, extending or arching or not. So really pressing the arms up, squeezing the arms back, breathing in and out of the nose. And again, if you don't have the block, you can easily do this with a strap as well. Just hold the strap overhead and squeeze the arms back. So I would go at least 30 seconds here and instead of thinking about this as a stretch, I want you to think about this more as a strength exercise. Stretching is good for relieving pain, but usually you wanna add strength um, to help with uh, getting pain to go away. And that also serves the benefit of addressing the root causes of pain. Pain is often caused by a lack of strength, not just a lack of flexibility. So arms squeezing back, chest lifting up, holding 60 seconds at least and remembering to breathe in and out of your nose. That's just gonna help your body relax more and help to relieve tension in the muscles. If you're breathing really quickly in and out of the mouth, that sends the opposite signal and that's gonna be harder for you to relax the muscles and release tension. All right, go ahead and release. Here we're gonna go into a really great pose called needle thread. And this is a really good one for relieving shoulder pain. So for this, you're gonna come down onto the ground. We're gonna go knees wide, big toes together, bringing your butt as close back to your heels as you can without pain. If you do have pain, bring your hips further forward so that if you, don't, you don't have to bend your knees as much. From here, you're gonna plant your left hand a couple feet in front of your left knee and then slide your right hand between your left hand and your left knee release the right shoulder to the ground. And now I want you to keep your arm where it is, but turn your chest so it's facing slightly down. So you're making this little rotation to stretch the muscle in your upper back on the outside of the right shoulder blade. So pushing this arm into the ground, 
and then twisting toward the ground so that you feel that stretch in the upper back. So you're basically trying to make the area from the outside of your right arm to the middle of your back longer. So see if you can make that area bigger and that's going to help with the stretch. Breathe in and out of your nose. You can relax the right side of your head on the ground. And you should feel a really nice pull through the outside of the right shoulder blade. Slow down that breathing. This is also a really good one for your back in general. So if you want to work on your thoracic mobility, your ability to twist, this is a really nice one for that. All right, go ahead and relax. And then just to show you kind of another example, because sometimes that pose, that stretch doesn't always click with people, you're going to do it from an upright position. So you're just going to bring your right arm across your body. <coughs> Keep in mind that you're mirroring me. So bring your right arm across your body, and then bring your left arm to the back of your right arm like this, and then pull your right arm across your body. And as you do that, you'll feel the stretch through the outside of your right upper back. So that's what we want to feel as we're in the needle thread too. All right, let's try that again, other side. So now you're going to come back to that child's pose position, knees wide, big toes together, hips wherever you can. Uh, so make sure that your knees don't hurt. Right hand goes a couple feet in front of your right knee. Slide your left hand between your right hand and your right knee. Release that arm to the ground. Relax your head to the ground. Now push your left arm into the ground and then twist a little bit so that you're turning your chest down so that you can feel that stretch through the outside of your left shoulder blade. Look over toward the right. You can also push down into your right hand. So pushing your right hand into the ground, the mat, whatever you have there, can help facilitate this stretch. And again, this is a, a really good one for that outer shoulder blade. Make sure that your shoulders are not shrugged up near the ears. Make sure they're pulled down away from the ears. And you want to keep your butt as close to your heels as you can without pain. That way we're focusing on the upper back and we're not focusing on the low back. Slow controlled breathing in and out of the nose. And with this stretch, I would hold this at least 45 seconds and 60 seconds is better. Make sure that you've got that slow controlled breathing and aim for that intensity of uh, a five or six. You know, you don't want to go up to an eight or a nine intensity. Find medium intensity ranges. That's going to be the best for getting your muscles to stretch and open up. All right, last stretch we're going to show here is a child's pose up on blocks. Now, if you don't have blocks, you can get a stack of books. You can use a bench. You can use your bed. You can use a couch. You'll find some way to do it. I trust in your creativity. So you're going to put your hands on top of the blocks here. Straighten your arms. Pull your hips away from your hands as much as you can and relax your chest toward the ground. Now, just like a lot of the other poses we've done here, I want you to add some element of, of active muscle engagement to this. So we can start with just being totally passive, just getting into this position with the arms straight, relaxing your chest. But if you can start to work the muscles in your upper back, so if you can squeeze the muscles in your upper back, and push your chest down while squeezing the muscles in your arms, that's going to help just make this pose more effective in terms of opening up your chest, in terms of getting the muscles in the upper back to activate, and that will help with relieving whatever pain is in the shoulders. Just getting the muscles more active, getting them out of their traditional or what you Typical ranges of motion, so if you spend a lot of time with your arms down at your sides, getting your arms overhead is a good idea. And this is a, a fairly safe position to do that. Again, if it does cause pain, then don't do it, or you can figure out a way to, to get into it that doesn't cause pain. And there is that, that, that difference between 
pain and discomfort. If it's just uncomfortable because you haven't done it in a while or you haven't, your body's just not used to it, and that's one thing. But if you have a sharp pain, sharp shooting pain, that is a no, and that means stay away from it. So up to you to kind of figure out what's pain and what's discomfort. So this stretch you can hold for a longer time. You can do this one for at least 60 seconds, 90 seconds, two minutes, even three minutes, as long as there's, as long as it's still feeling good and there's no pain. Just remember to stay active through the upper back, keep the arms straight, relax the chest down, keep your neck relaxed. All right, and then come out of that. So those are five great stretches you can use to relieve shoulder pain. And some of those will work better than others, depending on what is causing your shoulder pain. So just be sure to do the ones that, again, feel good and don't cause pain. If you're looking for more basic yoga stretches, I've got an entire series of these routines here for free on the Manful Yoga YouTube channel. So links in the description below to check that out. Subscribe so you don't miss out. We have a few more of these, uh, these, these series coming out in the next few weeks. We've got uh, stretches for low back, for hips, for abs. Also for, for strengthening your hips, for strengthening your abs. So just a really nice collection of videos. So be sure to like the video, leave a comment if you have some feedback or a recommended topic. And then click over here above this left shoulder of mine, and you can check out the first workout from this series. See you on the next video.